Inside Out is the newest film from Disney and Pixar. Now, just like the last movie I reviewed, this is one of my most anticipated of the year. Because I am a fan of Pixar, and they have given us such classics such as the Pixar film that started it all, the Pixar film everybody forgets, the Pixar sequel everyone loves, the Pixar film that was charming, the Pixar film everybody loves, the other Pixar film everybody loves and that everyone is demanding a sequel to, everyone's least favorite Pixar film, the Pixar film that made Cooking Rats cool, the Pixar film that had a great message without being preachy, the Pixar film that made grown adults cry during the first 15 minutes, the other Pixar sequel that everyone loves and that made graduating high school seniors, including myself, cry during the last 30 minutes. The Pixar film everybody hates. The Pixar film that felt more of a Disney film than a Pixar film. The Pixar sequel or prequel that everyone tolerates. In case you didn't tell from my description, after Toy Story 3, Pixar took a minor dive in quality the last four years. But now they are saying Inside Out is the true return of the Pixar we all know and love. Well, let's see. The film is about this girl named Riley. She has a family that moves to San Francisco and it's a stressful time for her. We see the control room in her mind and it is controlled by five different emotions. Joy, fear, anger, disgust, and sadness. And ultimately, they are on a journey to keep her mental and emotional state in check as she is going through this difficult time in her life. Now, I'm not going to go too much in depth about this movie, but I will say this is the most clever, smartest film I have ever seen this year. Let alone the smartest and best animated film I have seen this year. And it was cool seeing how it all works in her mind and how the mind works in this world, and how a happy memory can turn to a sad memory, and how memories can shape you into the person you are. And it was smart in how they illustrated. I loved hanging out with all these five different emotions, and I loved the casting choices for all these emotions. Amy Poehler as Joy, Louis Black as Anger, Mindy Cowling as Disgust, Bill Hader as Fear, and Phyllis Smith as Sadness. These were the perfect casting choices, and I love how they did Sadness because she is an emotion that everyone tries to stay away from. Joy tries to keep her away from the control room of Riley, but it turns out that sadness is more useful than they think she is. All the emotions stand out perfectly and they do their job. And I love seeing them interact with each other and how they control the emotions of Riley. After you watch this movie, you'll wonder what the control room looks inside your mind. I ain't gonna lie, mine is probably scary and all over the place. I found myself laughing and having a good time in this movie, but I also find myself getting a little teary-eyed at the movie. I ain't gonna lie, there was a point in the movie where I was on the verge of tears. This movie had a bunch of unexpected tear-jerking moments, for sure. In the end, Inside Out was a great film. Kids and adults will love this movie. Like This is the type of movie that should be made for kids. They don't make movies like this for kids anymore. That makes your kids think and appreciate this movie as they get older. Not Cars 2 or the Smurfs or the Nut Job. Pixar is good at making movies for kids and adults, and adults will love this movie too because they will love how it explains the emotional state. I'm sorry, but I find this movie perfect and I think I can't find any flaws with this movie because if I did, I think I'd just be nitpicking. So therefore, I will give Inside Out an A++. Hey, what can I say? I love this movie and I think this is definitely the return of the Pixar that we all know and love. And this movie will definitely be remembered as one of the greats along with Toy Story and Monsters Inc. Finding Nemo, The Incredibles, Up. So my question is, what did you think of this movie as a Pixar film and what's your favorite Pixar film? Leave your answer in the comment section below. My favorite, the Toy Story. And by Toy Story, I mean all three movies. That's it for the day. You like what you see? Subscribe to this channel, subscribe to my other channel. The links are in the description below. And be sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Periscope, and Movie Pilot. Peace.